Hi everyone, before this video starts, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry if I said um a lot. This is my first, I guess, official YouTube video. Also, I forgot to mention that throughout my dietetic internship, I worked every single weekend, 16 hours each weekend. And then also during the second and third time I was studying for the exam, I was moving from an apartment to a house. So it is definitely possible if you are non-traditional like me, have to work, have to move, you have something going on in your life, you're a parent, it's definitely possible to pass this exam. My name is Selena. I am a newly registered dietitian as of October 5th, 2020. I just wanted to come on here and discuss how I passed the RD exam, especially after failing. Hopefully my experience helps someone out there. I wish someone would have talked about this uh, to me beforehand. So I'll be talking about, there's my puppy. <laughs> I'll be talking about how I passed the RD exam, what I wish I would have known, and then also the study materials I used. So first things first, I want to introduce to you all the background I come from because maybe someone's in the same was in the same position or is. Um, I actually did a distance dietetic internship. I had to find my own preceptors, find my own locations to intern at, and actually I my clinical rotation was at a long-term care facility, so that may be um, a disadvantage or an advantage to some people when studying because I really didn't have an in-depth inpatient experience. Well, my clinical rotation was at a long-term care facility for 10 weeks and I thought it was awesome. I did have one day where I interned at a at a hospital and I thought that was amazing so I'm really interested in clinical right now. But uh, I do wish sometimes that I did have maybe more than a day of interning at a hospital. I think that would have exposed me to more uh, disease states, but interning at a long-term care facility was really beneficial to me because I thought it was great seeing residents for a longer period of time, building a rapport with the patients, because if you're an inpatient, you may only see the patient once the whole time you're there. They won't come back. Maybe they will. Um, so just something to keep in mind, my clinical was at a long-term care facility. And then also my other rotations were at the Special Supplemental Nutrition Program for Women, Infants, and Children, aka WIC, and then Davida Dialysis, which was awesome, and then also at a school district for food service. So just keep in mind that that's where my rotations were, so I might have had more advantage of learning about WIC for the exam. I didn't have to study more about that program. And with renal nutrition, I had more of an upper hand with that. Basically, my program, they helped us study for the RD exam because they had us purchase visual veggies. I'll put the link in the description below where you can buy it. We had to do 25 question quizzes throughout the internship. And I thought that was beneficial. Sometimes I found myself memorizing the answers, but I did find it beneficial for passing the exam to mention that I took the exam three times so uh, I passed my third try. I only used visual veggies the first time I took the exam and the last time. Uh, every experience is different for studying for the RD exam. I just wanted to note that and also we were required to take a pretest and a post test during the internship so we would take a 145 question uh, test to simulate the exam in the beginning of the internship and at the end to see if Visual Veggies was working. And it did because my score improved by 20%. So I uh, graduated my dietetic internship this past April. And what was great about my internship is that they uh, put us in the little study groups for the RD exam. COVID-19 and quarantine was happening. I graduated in April. So obviously the study groups were virtual. And I found this really beneficial because I found my closest friends but also we were able to quiz each other. Uh, we made presentations for each other. We did Q and A's or not Q, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did like little questions together. But also I think this is the most important thing, thing I got out of the study group besides finding long life friendships is that everyone had different mnemonics for everything. And I think mnemonics helped me the most whatever makes you remember something, it'll stick with you. So my friends had really funny mnemonics and that just really helped me throughout the exam. 
Well, all of us in the study group actually had visual veggies because we were all in the same program, but we also all had Gene Inman, and I had the 2019 version. My friend had the newest version, the 2020, and then someone had an older version, so we'd obviously help each other out. If there was information in the newer one that the older version didn't have, we'd tell each other. So I would recommend a study group to help you study for the RD exam. If you don't know what Gene Inman is, I'm just gonna show you. My book is really messed up because I just wrote all over it. I even used construction paper as bookmarks. Yeah, but this is the inside. Uh, Jean Minnan is really great. If you have any questions for her, she has her contact information in here. And if you don't understand a question, just email her. She responds right away. Actually, the creator of Visual Veggies is the same, Ryan Hartz. If you email him, he will email you back within a few hours. Um, he's really great, and so is Jean Inman. I highly recommend both sources. Most people recommend to do one main source and supplement with other things, so Jean Inman would be my first uh, recommendation. To also study, I used Pocket Prep, the premium. I think it's called Medical Study Prep now. So I did all 650 questions, and I made a point to do their daily question every day, the day question of the day. Um, what I really liked about Pocket Prep is that they have explanations for why you got the answer wrong or why you got it right. Same with Visual Veggies. With Gene Inman, they do not have the explanation, so it's kind of like you have to read in the textbook, look it up, ask somebody. But I'll get to that later. So I used Pocket Prep for the first time I tried the exam, and then I kind of leisurely used it. Also, I had access to Quizlet. Um, they have a lot of Eat Right Prep. Quizlets on there. A lot of people say Eat Right Prep is beneficial. Some people say that it, you are learning more stuff than you need to. I didn't have Eat Right Prep, so I'm, I can't speak for that. But I did take um, Eat Right Prep Quizlet quizzes. And then I also had access to one Eat Right exam, and I took that the night before my exam. I think it helped. I just think the more, more questions you have, the better. And if you just have one source, that's fine. Roll with it. Use that source and then just answer the Facebook group messages because that's free. So yeah, that's what I did for the exam. Main tips, I would say use one tool, supplement with the others. Um, I kind of went to textbooks for help like Krauss and Nutrition Path Pathophysiology. Not that much though. I think I just like the way that I learned. I like people explaining things to me, which is why I did tutoring um, to help me pass eventually. Kimberly Kramer and Ingrid Soto are the main tutors I used. And for Ingrid, she actually has free uh, study sessions every, every two weeks on Wednesday nights. Sorry, my dog. Uh, so I would attend all of those. I think I missed like one or two. But if you have any questions, just ask her. She will answer it. And also on her page. I think they're really good. Her, um, Angela, and Sydney, they're a team. They're really good at explaining things, and they're very encouraging. They just help me get in the right mindset um, because they had to take the exam more than one time, too. So it made me feel better, you know, you're not alone. And then also Kimberly Kramer. I used her the most. I took all of, mostly all of her classes. Um, I took vitamins and minerals, MNT, her research class, she had a situational class um, to help you break down the question. What else did I take? Because I just feel like I took, oh, I took all of her mock exams and I actually took a mock exam the night before my exam. I thought that was really helpful. What I like about Kimberly is she's straight to the point. You know, she just really wants all of her students to pass. She gives you great mnemonics and there's free videos on her exam page, RD exam one and done where she just explains concepts for free. So these are the Facebook groups I'm part of. I also wanted to note the RD exam podcast. It's also called Chomping Down the Dietetic Exam. Uh, Ferez Ferrazali, he posts a lot of uh, sample questions and I normally follow the RD exam podcast on Instagram. So I will 
I would suggest to do those questions every day because a lot of the times if you're taking breaks, you're probably on social media. <laughs> so I definitely recommend following this. On Instagram, he is RD Exam Podcast. That's I also his followed Andiche Farmond. Her handle is past the RD exam. She always posts a daily question on her story, and she also has these fun little mnemonic videos on here. I did end up purchasing one of her classes. I think it was the Situation and Keywords class. So she breaks down the questions, different topics from all the domains, and she will also sell recordings. So I actually, that class that I bought was a recording. I actually took almost all of her live classes that she had in the past. So in addition to becoming a member of all these groups, I'm gonna show you how to look up questions and answers in Gene Inman or a question that you get from Quizlet because a lot of the folks in these groups will post a question, people will answer, and it's really helpful. So because the RD exam one and done and my RD guide are a bit newer pages that were created, even though those tutors have been tutoring for a while, um, if you're looking up questions, most of the questions that you're looking to find are probably in RD exam prep or RD exam study group live sessions. They will be in here and here, but if you can't find it in these pages, I would suggest RD exam prep the most or RD exam study group live sessions. So let's do an example, RD exam prep. Hello. Oh. <laughs> I didn't move my camera. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, you have about, discussion, announcements, members, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's this magnifying glass. So search within the group. Now you're looking within the group. What if I want to look up probably a question on hypertension? Yeah. All right, see? A new patient with a BMI of 32. Patient with a BMI of 32. Even though this question is posted twice, I like that because you get different explanations. So there's 15 comments on this one. Look at that. You have so many people willing to answer, which is amazing. And I would say this helped me the most because I looked up questions the most on my last time studying for the exam. So it's a different day and it's morning time, but I did want to say, because I forgot again, <laughs> that I did several 145 question tests leading up to the day of my exam. Two weeks before my exam date, I just did so many questions, as many as I could, but I tried to simulate the exam by doing 145 question tests to get me used to that amount of questions or that question capacity. And I kind of wanted to simulate the exam, so in the times we live in, wear a mask when you're trying to simulate the exam. Also, yeah. And don't be afraid to post questions on these Facebook groups. Everybody wants to help each other out, so don't be scared. <laughs> if you're looking to save money, I would go to the Facebook groups. Uh, look up the mnemonics they have. Go to the free tutoring sessions if they're offered. So yeah, I think I wrapped that up. I'm sorry if this is all over the place. Uh, I figured that this video needs to come out soon because I want to help other people pass the exam. I still can't believe I'm a registered dietitian, but I do have a crazy story of my exam day if anybody wants me to uh, tell that story. So yeah, I hope this helps someone out there. And reach out to me if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help you. If I had to say a study source again, Gene Inman. And then also, do as many questions as you can. You got this. It may seem like, you know, you're not going to pass ever. Because I was there. I failed twice. <laughs> but don't let that get to you. You really need to just relax, breathe, and just know you got this. You've been studying this for how many years? You went through an unpaid, most likely unpaid internship to get here. So just keep on moving forward, no matter how many times it takes you to pass the exam. Right, just keep going. I'm <laughs> sorry about my dog. She's so cute. Okay. Again, I hope this helps someone. Thank you for watching.